Hey everybody, so I hope you all enjoyed uh, last Sunday's coffee mug video. I had a lot of fun making that and it's been great seeing all of your responses in the comments. Um, that video focused on the coffee mugs that sell for over $100. Um, next week, not like this weekend probably, uh, I'll have the next video coming out of some of our best coffee mug sales personally and some more co coffee mug bolos to be on the lookout for. Um, but in between here, what, what happened just now is we just, we finished up our shipping this morning for the day and my husband went ahead, he's my shipper, and he went ahead and recorded our process for shipping coffee mugs, or I should say his process because he always does it, but he taught me and I don't ship or package breakables, but even I can handle coffee mugs. I've had to do it while he was out of town and it's super simple. And if I can do it, then you guys, anybody can do it <laughs> anyway. Um, so we ship a lot of our mugs are over a pound. And so we ship them priority mail and we just use the priority mail. I think it's seven by seven by six or seven by six by six. Anyway, I think my husband says it in his part of the video. So we just use, we call it the mug box between ourselves and it's just kind of a square box. And the way my husband does it, it fits in that box perfectly. So we have not had any breakage. I can't remember any breakage ever, but let's leave some margin for error and say maybe we've had one. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you that. And then towards the end of the video, um, I'll just do a quick, um, I'll show you just briefly our like listing process for a coffee mug. It's, it's very straightforward. It's very easy. So I'm not going to be teaching you anything earth shattering, but I'll just show you basically what we include in our listings for coffee mugs. Okay. So this is our method for shipping coffee mugs. It doesn't have to be everybody's. I also down in the description, I'm going to link to two other videos. One is by Commonwealth Picker and one is by Jason Smith. And um, Commonwealth talks about when you have a coffee mug that would qualify for first class shipping. And then Jason T. Smith's video is about shipping coffee mugs in a padded flat rate envelope. And he has a, a great success with doing that as well. So this is just the method that my husband feels is super fast and has worked so well for us over the years. So it's just kind of what we stick with unless it qualifies for first class. And then we do that, obviously. Anyway, so hope you guys are having a great week and let's just get right to it. So we use the larger bubble and this is five sheets, which is pretty standard for a mug and to maximize it I always cut it in half first because that way we get a lot more packaging more bang for the bubble and then the mug we have is this sold pretty quickly we start off usually by getting a little bubble around the handle and then the first line of bubble wrap goes around the body. And then the second line, I like to do it so that I wrap it up and over. And that handle then basically gets double protection. So it's thicker here and here, a little thin on the sides. And then we take our priority box, which is seven by seven by six. And we use these almost exclusively for mugs. And grab a couple more. And here, I usually just take two single sheets. that one in here and I like to angle the handle into the corner so it gives it a little bit extra protection and then the top one fills in any gaps so
This is eBay, so we use our eBay tape and get that nice and solid. Pop that around and I always like to ball that around because we've had some problems with some tape coming loose after it's been done. So this way if the tape overlaps on both sides, uh, it won't pull away as readily as it does if it's just ending on cardboard sometimes. So that's a mug. And we've done this this way for many years. And um, to my recollection, and Shannon would know better, we've never had one broken. So pretty quick. And that's it. So like, as I said, um, I just wanted to show you one of our coffee mug listings. This is actually, you just saw this mug in the video. And I didn't have a mug ready to go to to that I needed to get listed. And so I just thought, let me just show you the listing for this mug, the one that had sold so quickly and just go over just some of the basics real quick. So this is, this is my husband did this listing. Like I said, um, don't be jealous. I, he wants me to shop and him to list. That's like my dream job, but we have so many different shops on Etsy and Ruby Lane and things like that. Like he can't do all the listings. So I, I do, we both kind of list to eBay our different specialties. And then I have certain Etsy shops in Ruby Lane that I handle and he's got Mercari and another Etsy shop that he handles. But anyway, you don't care about any of that. Well, maybe you do, but not for the purposes of this video. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so he did this listing and all that to say that he is much more thorough than I am. And so, and he's faster, so it doesn't cost him any more time to be this thorough. Um, but on, in this case, I agree. So like a basic coffee mug listing, I would do all four sides of a coffee mug. As you can see down here, I would do the bottom and I would do the top looking down. He's got some closer pictures of the graphic, which is good because you want to show whether there's any paint loss or color loss in it. And then this has gold trim around the edge. And so it did have um, a little bit of paint loss to the gold trim. So he's got some pictures detailing that as well. And a up close picture of the logo and everything on the bottom. So all of that is definitely good. And the titles are pretty easy basically just what's on the mug, what the mug is, who made it, that kind of thing. So this is a Camp David presidential retreat, 10 ounces. Now he put the capacity in the title, which, which is good coffee mug. And then he's got the, you know, everything that was on the bottom of the mug he's got at the, you know, he included in his title. You could also throw the word cup in the title. Some people say coffee cup, other people say mug, okay? Um, they're suggesting country of manufacture is China, but they're just pulling that from the title, which it's the it's a China company, so that's not accurate. Now, he chose a collectibles category for this item, which is fine. Some mugs will definitely fall under collectibles, and some might be under dinnerware, and then some might just be under coffee mugs. I guess <laughs> Starbucks has its own category. You know, you can find different categories to put coffee mugs in, um, and your store categories. So this is the item specifics for these political collectibles. The topic is Camp David. It's a mug. It's ceramic. We don't know the year, um, country or manufacturer. We'd put that if we knew it. Um, it's, the country, the region it's about is the United States. The theme is politics. Now, some of the um, categories that you can list mugs under do have a capacity item specific. And we could you could even add that to here. Um, and he could put the 10 ounces there. Um, condition box, basically, is where you're going to put all the condition issues and whether it's good or bad or whatever. I also know that if you list on your phone or on your mobile device that this doesn't automatically get filled in. So if eBay doesn't feel that that's that important, 
do with that information what you will. Um, you know, that's a whole nother topic. If I catch it on my husband's listings, then I go ahead and copy the condition into that box. And the same thing, if he's actually ends up doing his listing, starting it on his phone and finishing it on the computer, then he fills that in too. So, um, he has 10 ounces here. I probably would make another, um, line here that just explained the capacity a little bit, you know, had its own line for capacity. Now, measuring the capacity of a mug is one of the most annoying things about listing coffee mugs, mostly because it doesn't like fit into my process anywhere. I, I, I list downstairs. I finally just got a second measuring cup that I can keep down here and there's a bathroom down here. So I, I do check the capacity of my mugs, then the mugs are wet. <laughs> so it's just in the flow process, it just kind of like throws me off a little bit, but whatever. If I do not include the capacity, it's almost guaranteed someone is going to ask me <laughs> what the capacity of the mug is. So for some people, it's very important to know how much the mug holds. So if you know, I've heard of other resellers who never put capacity, have never gotten that question, but anytime I just get lazy and skip it, uh, there's a mug. Somebody's like, how much does this hold? So I just try to go ahead and do that anyway. Okay. All right. So measurements, my husband does the height of the mug, um, the bottom measurement across and the top width across too. I generally just do the top and the height. I used to just do measurements and not capacity just to kind of give an idea of the size. But like I said, I was getting too many questions about how big the mugs were and how much did they hold. So we do both measurements and capacity. So like I said, at the beginning, we, I bought it on Monday. I was at a thrift store. I paid $2 and when I looked it up on my phone, I, the first sold I saw was $22. So that was my decision to go ahead and buy that mug. And, um, no, did I pay two? It was half price day. So I paid $1 for it. It was half price on kitchen goods. So, um, yeah, we got, I got it for a dollar and we listed it at $28.99. We, my husband sent out an offer that got a watcher pretty quickly, um, sent out an offer for 24 and the person accepted that offer. So we sold it for $24. We did allow offers on that, but it actually required us to send the offer, um, to make the sale that quickly and shipping. So like we said, anything over a pound, this was a kind of a heavier duty mug, we just go ahead and use priority mail. We don't bother with parcel select, um, with breakables. I don't want them in the mail system as long as parcel select has them in the mail system. Um, pri priority mail, even though we package really well. Um, yeah, we would package it really well for parcel select. I just feel like the less time it's in the mail system, the better. Then also, we don't have to find boxes. If we're doing parcel select, we always have to find a box or we have to buy boxes specifically. And I would rather it be in the, like I said, I just would rather use priority mail for breakable things. So we just have gone ahead and that's been our process all these years and that is what seems to be working. And I, I just feel like when people, when you're selling mugs that are worth a certain amount of money, people will pay the shipping. They'll pay the priority mail shipping. If you're selling mugs that are like five or $10, people don't want to pay more than $10 for their shipping. They just, they don't like that. So I think if you keep the value of your coffee mug up, then shipping it priority um, is also totally acceptable to the buyer. Now, like I said, I linked in the description below a couple other choices, either for first class or for shipping in a padded flat rate envelope, which would actually, if you pass that savings on to your customer, that might make them happier as well. 
as long as you follow those instructions carefully and you can get the mug to your uh, buyer very safely. Okay, so we just go ahead and do calculated based on the buyer's location, priority mail. Um, I'm still waiting to get into the new international shipping that eBay is going to be offering. I still have global shipping, but for this, I just go ahead and put calculated first class package and I use pirate ship for that. And we promote our listings at 2% pretty much for everything and that's it. Okay, so hopefully some of this information, whether the shipping or the listing, there was something helpful in it for you. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if there was something that you thought was interesting. And then also please leave any questions or comments down below. Like, like I said, everybody's got different ways of doing things. This is just the way that has been working for us. So um, feel free to share you know, your, your methods for shipping mugs or breakables or any tips about um, shipping methods or things like that that you'd like to share. Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And we'll see you guys later on this weekend.